Hello everybody. Gonna be doing a little bit of a different video. L little bit of a different video today. Um, and that's, it's kind of an anting vlog, but I'm not only looking for ants and not really looking for ants at all, honestly. Um, we're in the middle of October right now. I'm here on Mount Lemon. I'm down in a canyon, actually. So I'm like, way down here. And mostly what I'm gonna be looking for, if you can't tell by the, uh, the trickling water noises, is aquatic bugs. Um, and I've already found what I came here for, which are these whirly gig beetles, of which there are about 50 sitting to my right. So that's pretty cool. I'm uh, gonna be collecting a lot of those. Um, but honestly, the reason why I remember to start this vlog is, uh, you can kind of see it because of the shadow, but that right there, I believe is a canyon tree frog. I don't think we have any other frogs that look like that. And I was just very impressed at his camouflage. I didn't even notice him until he jumped. He was just sitting right next to me and then I scared him and he jumped, but cool little dude there. And then you might be able to see over here, all of those whirligig beetles, genus is Dinetus, Dinetus. I don't know how to pronounce it. There's a weird second U there, but actually, I honestly think there might be more than 50 in here. Um, but I love these guys, and I only have one in my tank right now. And I'm probably going to be upgrading my water bug tank to a 50 gallon from a 10 gallon. So I'm going to be collecting a lot of these guys. I'm sure that this is not the only cluster of them in here, but I'm going to be scooping these guys out pretty thoroughly um, but other than that this the you know there's a big creek it goes way down the canyon so i'm going to be finding tons of cool water bugs that i'm going to be sure to show you guys so stay tuned for that and i'll post a clip once i get these guys in a thing i'm actually going to take my boots off and just put i've got like a junky pair of flip-flops that i'm going to use to just wade around in these pools so that'll be kind of fun um as long as there's no toe biters i guess <laughs> I already have a ton of these guys, and there is still just a ton more. But I'm gonna leave this pool alone for now. See, they're all around me in this pool. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. If I find another big group of them, I'll probably collect a bit more, but I don't wanna take all of them from that one spot. So, this place is pretty cool. I've also seen some back swimmers. Not much else besides that, and wow, look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is quite the fall. So I'm gonna have to be careful traversing down, but definitely gonna have to, because I don't know if you see all that water down there, but that's uh, that's where I wanna be. So I'm gonna figure out how to get down this, and then uh, I'll see you guys then, I guess. I have successfully made it down. My flip-flops and my net, um, well, I dropped one of my flip-flops and decided to just full send and throw the rest of them down. But down here we have even more of those whirly gig beetles. Not nearly as many as in the pool up there, but this big little, I guess, lake is got a bunch of them too. I've seen some more back swimmers. There's a bunch down in here. Yeah, you can see those pretty well. Oh, there's a water strider on top, a baby water strider. That's another thing that I'm here looking for. There's some tadpoles. That, those are probably canyon tree frog tadpoles. But I'm gonna walk over here on this gravel and grab my shoes. And then we're gonna check this pool out. See what's in here. Actually, right by my net, there's a tadpole. So that's funny. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, actually, we've got some mini diving beetles. These are Lacophilus pictus. Hasenoloides or whatever. I'll put the name up there so you can ignore my butchered pronunciations, but just a really tiny little diving beetle that I will actually collect. Uh, and there's a bunch of baby water striders. I doubt I'm going to be able to get on camera, but oh, I see a sunburst diving beetle over there. These are probably the most flashy aquatic invertebrate in Arizona. They look Pretty similar to those little ones, but they're huge. Well, not huge, but pretty decent size. Let me see if I can scoop this guy up here. Yeah. We have that sunburst diving beetle. Gonna collect him for sure. Or her, I actually can't tell like that. Looks like a her. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna be waiting around this pool for a little bit and 
see what everything I find. Oh, I see some more whirly gigs over there. That's cool. So, here you can see the difference. Despite them having pretty similar patterns of being black with yellow spots, uh, except that guy's upside down. But you can see how different these two genera of diving beetles are. Where one is quite large and the other is teeny tiny. So yeah, it's interesting. When I was first getting into water bugs, I was kind of confused because I hadn't actually seen a sunburst diving beetle. So I kept seeing the little ones and I'm like, well, what's the difference? Well, sunburst diving beetles are huge. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep collecting a little bit, see if there's any other interesting species I find, and yeah, make some more clips when I do. So I got a fresh cup out, because I'm pretty sure that I just found a juvenile Leposeris, which would be awesome. Yeah, that's... it could be an Abydus. I'll have to catch it. It's sitting back there. Might be able to see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so I can catch this guy. And I'll let you know what it is. So I did catch it, but unfortunately, it is an abatis, which is the... So this is an adult. That's as big as they get. It is the, uh... We've got three different genera of giant water bugs in Arizona. These are kind of the, the middle child. Lethoceris are our huge ones. Bellastoma are pretty tiny. And then abatis here are pretty middle-sized. So I'm going to just release this guy somewhere away from where I'm walking so that he doesn't try to bite my toes. Let's put him in here. There you go, buddy. So still a cool find. Oh, actually, there's a water strider right here that I'm going to try and grab. Sweet. <laughs> the abatis is walking around. There you go, buddy. Well, cool, I got a water strider, too. That's another thing that I'm here to collect, our water striders. Well, I guess we know there's toe biters, so if I'm lucky, I'll find a Lethoceros, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This is really cool. There's like a mini shower from the water splashing off of the rocks coming down from up there. We got some more, and this is actually really cool. We've got both of our genera of whirligig beetles. So I was talking about Dinetus, our larger genus, which I'm sure you can see. But behind them are some Gyrinus, which are our smaller genus. We only have two, and I'm actually not even sure if more than those two exist uh, in the U.S. at least. But uh, there's, a, there's a Dinetus, but I want to try, try and catch some of these Gyrinus too. Unfortunately, they're way the heck back there, so... We'll have to we'll have to figure out how to get back there and get them, and not accidentally get bitten by any toe biters because that would suck. So yeah, it appears I have succeeded in collecting a bunch of gyrinus. I also accidentally got a dragonfly larva. Will not be keeping that. Do not want a dragonfly flying around my house. And then I also got two more dinetus. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys into containers and continue collecting. Moved on to the next pool, and this one is huge. There's tons more of those giant whirligig beetles. You can see there's a big cloud of them over there, some more of them over there, and then a bunch just floating around in the middle. Um, although, my cup is getting, like, pretty... My, my cup that is full of the whirligig beetles is pretty much full. And honestly, even with a 50-gallon, I don't know that I'll be able to collect too many more. So I'll probably just stop collecting those. Maybe a few more, but got to show some restraint. But I'm very interested to see what this pool has to offer. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to do too much climbing in it because it's really deep. So I don't want to get my pants wet. But uh, we shall see. Tons of tadpoles. Jeez. I saw another sunburst diving beetle over here. Of course, these whirligigs are making the water go crazy, so it's hard to see in here. But I think that it might have uh, moved, so I'll have to do some more looking. Got it. <laughs>
We love Sunverse Diving Beetles. Oh, there's actually a Banded Diving Beetle here. I don't actually have any of these. I've seen them before, but they're not my favorite, so I haven't really collected them. Oh, I gotta get rid of the Sunverse Diving Beetle, because <laughs> if I try to scoop that guy up, the Sunburst Diving Beetle is just going to swim right out of the net as soon as I put it in the water. So I got to deposit him really quick and then hopefully I can get that banded diving beetle. Here's our Dytisidae cup, predaceous diving beetles. Got two Lacophilus and two Sunbursts. Not the uh, most intense haul ever, but not too bad. But let's look for that banded diving beetle. Thermonectus nigrofasciatus. It's a really cool name. But even though I don't like them that much, I still think it'd be nice to have one, get some variety. Oh, there's another sunburst. Ooh, and that's a pretty one. It's really yellow. They do vary quite a bit in their yellowness. He went into a crack in the rocks. I'll have to wait for it to come out. Oh, there's the banded diving needle. Let's go. I got the banded diving needle. Now I feel like I have to wait for that sunburst to come out again. But let me get this um, this banded in a place where I can get a picture of it. Or show you on video what it looks like. There we go. So it's the same genus as the sunburst diving beetles. And it looks quite similar in body shape, but the patterning is completely different as you can, you can tell. So, pretty cool little dude. Oh, I just randomly scooped a piece of algae and just got like a bunch of those tiny diving beetles. Maybe I'll have to do that some more because I really want those, those little guys. So that was really funny. I just stepped into a new pool right over there just to walk through it. And three sunburst diving beetles just flew out of a little crack in the rock. Managed to get them all in one scoop. So I was like, okay, hello guys. Really want to come home with me, huh? So this is something that's kind of fun to do. I just scraped against the ground randomly. I got a water boatman, a hydrophilid, I think it's a tropisternus, might be a barosis, I'll let you know in the video. And then what appears to be two diving beetle larvae. I'm not going to collect a larvae, I'm probably only going to collect this tropisternus or this hydrophilid, whatever it is. But it's still just an interesting thing to do. There's so much stuff that you don't really see, and then you can just scoop and, and kind of get it. Um, there's a bunch more whirly gigs. They're in every single pond here. Uh, there's a dead sunburst diving beetle and a living sunburst diving beetle, but the living one got away from me, so I don't know that I'll be able to actually collect it. But yeah, still, this is probably like the 10th pool. Oh, I see a sunburst diving beetle over there. Right there. But yeah, this is probably like the 10th pool I stopped at, and there's still good stuff, so pretty cool. So I'm heading back up the canyon, going to go to a different spot for uh, water bugs. I went as far down as was reasonable, it was going to be a little bit difficult to get down any further. And I feel like I've already got pretty much everything that could be in this area except for like a Lethoceros, but I'm kind of doubtful that I'll find any. But maybe I'd show off this cool little canyon area, nice little waterfall over there, and then this pool. Full of whirligig beetles. You can barely see them, but those little dots in the water are those whirligig beetles that I love so dearly. But, yep, just making my way back up. And that's about the end of this one. Uh, cut it a little shorter than I anticipated. The second spot that I went to wasn't very good, and there was a lot of people around, so it was very hard to film and not be super awkward. Um, but overall, it was a pretty good trip. Got tons of what I was looking for, and... Here is showing off my 50 gallon tank that I set up right after I recorded this. I may make a more in depth video on the tank. i debating on it. Um, so I guess comment, let me know if you'd like to see more of what you're seeing right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little extra vlog style video showing off some different Arizona arthropods that I you know, would love to show off to you guys more often. And in next year's anting vlog series, you're going to be seeing a lot more non ants as well. So take that as you will. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, thanks for watching.